In true crime news, a woman has been arrested in relation to trying to kill a rival's unborn child by use of abortion-related pills. So this is something that has happened before, of course, you know. The other woman is carrying a child, perhaps from your husband, perhaps not, perhaps you just want to punish her for whatever reason. And right, so you try to slip abortion pills into her concoction so that she'll miscarry. So, yeah. And uh, unsurprisingly, this is a violation of law. You, you can't do that. You can't, you know, surreptitiously give the other woman abortion pills to kill their unborn child. This is a violation of federal law as well, by the way. You can be charged with murder under federal law specifically for this. State law often bans this as well. So woman over here having a bad time. Also tried to bribe the victim's ex with AirPods. So I know that, you know, I, the fact that this child is going to be born is a real problem. Have you considered abortion? No. What if I sweeten the deal by offering you AirPods? Will you do the abortion then? What a sweetener. Abortion for AirPods, man. What a deal. Let's learn more about this. A 21-year-old has been arrested for allegedly planning to kill the unborn child of a romantic rival by trying to get someone to surreptitiously slip her abortion pills and then paying that person with a pair of AirPods. This is the most bizarre murder for hire plot ever. This is, this is murder for hire. This is the worst murder for hire I've ever heard of in my life. We're hiring a hitman to kill an unborn child and we're paying the hitman with airpods this is one interesting murder for hire plot wow good times haley over here was taken in custody on in florida so she's a florida woman on thursday and charged with one count of solicitation for killing an unborn child by injury to mother attempting to kill an unborn child by injury of a mother and tampering with evidence She's being charged with murder for hire. In other words, she attempted murder for hire. I hired a hitman. I paid the hitman with AirPods. Okay, that's what we're doing over here in Florida, guys. According to her press relief, the victim in this case was 11 weeks pregnant when she contacted deputies and reported she believed that the woman was trying to have someone kill her unborn child. So the woman got wise to this. The rumor mill was circulating. Uh, yeah, uh, hi, Sheriff. I think this woman is trying to kill my child. Unborn child. Investigators soon learned that the woman had been in a romantic relationship with the baby's father. So we were having a relationship, and then he went and got you pregnant. This is ruining my plans. This is really inconvenient. I wanted to be with him. So how am I going to solve this problem? Get rid of the inconvenience that is the child. Wow. The victim told the deputies she had recently been contacted by her former fiance about the alleged plot. He allegedly told the victim that the other woman had requested that he kill the victim's unborn child. So apparently the relationship between the man and the woman that he got pregnant didn't really work out. They were engaged to be married but not so much recently. So apparently there was a falling out. Unclear in this article what the falling out was relating to. But either way, the former fiancé was contacted by his former lover and said, I can't help noticing that your former fiancé is pregnant by you. Have you considered killing the child? I'll pay you. And the uh, former fiancé got back in touch with his former fiancé and said, uh, Hi, honey. I know we had a no contact issue and all, but uh, I've got some news I've got to share. So, yeah, that's that's got to be an interesting call. You get a call from your former fiance, who maybe you're not really interested in talking to, depending on the circumstances, and be like, "Honey, uh, I this is this isn't really a this isn't really a thing to get back together." I swear. I just thought you should know that someone has it out for your unborn child. That's got to be one hell of an interesting call on a lot of levels. Do you believe the call? Do you even believe it? Apparently she did. So, okay.
The former fiance then showed the victims copies of messages exchanged between him and the woman on Snapchat. So maybe she was a little bit skeptical. Maybe she thought this was a plot to try to get them back together. And he's like, no, this is real. I can show you the messages. I can show you the evidence. Here's some Snapchat messages. Okay. Yeah, that, that probably goes a long way to convincing me, I would think. The messages included premeditated instructions on how to carry out the offense. Furthermore, they offered to pay the former fiance with the AirPods. Wow. So the hitman we tried to hire is our mutual lover, right? So the woman hired the mutual lover of herself and the other woman. The man got the other woman pregnant. I'd like to hire you, former lover. Maybe you're a little bit upset about no longer being a fiance. Have you considered getting your own back? Would you like to poison your ex so that she miscarries? No, I can pay you with AirPods. Wow. This is, this is going really well over here. Wow. After exchanging messages, the woman and the victim's former fiance met in person, where she allegedly provided him with a pill to endorse induce the abortion. Following the meeting, they the former fiance turned the pill over to the investigators. So, yeah. We, we, are, we are gathering evidence that this is not merely just a, a thought that passed through the mind. Right? Is this really a solicitation? Or maybe she was just speaking out of turn. Right? Does she really have the intent to commit this crime? Because this is attempted murder. Right? So you have to prove intent. Right? So maybe she was just talking, you know, as people do and saying things and she didn't really mean it. How can we prove that she really meant it? Let's meet. She gives the medication. She may mean it, guys. Wow. After learning about the plot, the victim obtained a restraining order. I think that would be a pretty easy restraining order to get. As the investigation continued, detectives say they learned, in addition to planning the death of the unborn child, they also created a fake Facebook account using the victim's name and photos. So, exciting. In reviewing messages sent from the fictitious account, a detectives determined the account was likely created to thwart the investigation. So apparently trying to cover her tracks, the woman who is involved in the murder for hire plot creates a fake Facebook account for the woman she tried to have the child, unborn child assassinated of. And they think the reason she tried to create the face, fake Facebook account was try to thwart the investigation because they think that maybe what happened is they thought that she thought the detectives would try to look at the Facebook account or something in an effort to try to determine truth to something. And, but the detectives figured out it wasn't really her account. So maybe she was trying to poison the well or trying to impersonate her to throw detectives off the trail, but detectives figured it out. It wasn't really the person's Facebook account. It was a, uh, it was a honey trap, but they weren't fooled. The nature of the messages that were sent from the fictitious account were not clear. And they didn't immediately clear that up into uh, long crime. So we're not going to give you that particular detail of the investigation right now. Detectives sat down for an interview with the woman who was doing the murder for hire at her home. Detectives come knock on your door. It's like, hey, can we have a minor chat? You might want to invoke your right to remain silent. You're not under arrest, which you're probably not at that moment, to be honest. Also, it's occurring in your home. So probably don't have to give Miranda. But, you know, might want to keep your mouth silent anyway. While speaking with detectives, she eventually admitted the fact that she tried to have the victim take an abortion pill without the victim's consent. She initially denied creating the Facebook account. However, she eventually admitted to that, too. She told detectives she obtained the pill from a virtual doctor online and knew it was an abortion pill. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you mind if we come into your home? We sit down, have a little tea, maybe? A little chat about things? We just have a few minor questions we want to clear up. Yeah. Authorities add that after confessing, the woman showed no remorse. She's currently being held in jail in lieu of $105,000 of bond. It's going great over here in Florida. Thus, that brings us to the end of the story of Haley Ann Rayborn, a woman whose former lover got another woman pregnant. 
that man and that woman were engaged to be married for a time, but then the marriage fall apart. I'm not clear exactly why or what the circumstances of it falling apart were. But what we do know is that the woman over here contacted her ex-lover and said, hey, I can't help notice that you got this woman pregnant. Will you slip her some pills so that she has an induced abortion? I can pay you with AirPods. So it's murder for hire. The payment is AirPods. Great. Great. So she's being, she's being charged with effectively uh, attempted murder for hire. And that should go super, super well for her in both state and federal law if the feds want to get involved because there's a specific federal law on exactly this issue. So the feds could also have a word with her. Not going great for the 21-year-old over here for Haley Rayborn. So, and also she completely confessed to the police. So, and also there's the messages and the Snapchats and the Facebook groups and also the former fiancé who can testify to the conversations he had. So the evidentiary picture against her not looking real good for her future defense attorney. I see some problems with her defense in the future. That for the problem brings us to the end of discussion of this story.